everyone, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Lucy. I'm Ellie and in today's video we are going to be filming a very very big haul as well as like a little mini vlog of our day. But before we get into this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave us a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. And today's shout out goes out to Gemma Louise Nash, your comment will be on screen as always. And if you would like to be in with a chance of receiving a shout out, then all you have to do is give this video a big thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed and comment done when you've completed all of the steps. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So we are now just waiting at the train station because we're about to get on the train to go shopping. So we are going to spend the day shopping and we're going to head to the Nike outlet, which is where I got my shoes from. Yeah. I can't really show you my shoes. But we want to get some different trainers or something like that. And yeah. Get some food, that kind of thing. I totally recommend the Nike outlet. I buy all my if shoes from there. you see something there. that oh. doesn't look right, <laughs> speak to staff. As I was saying. I get all of my train. shoes from that. Oh it's god. So we've just got off of the first train and we're just waiting for the next one to come. We had to change like mid journey. Yeah. Uh, because otherwise we'd be going to the wrong place. But yeah, that is a little update. We will show you guys what they look like later in this video, so yeah. stay tuned for that. We're going to do a haul later of what we buy. But we're going to check out here and then head into Central Town. We are now walking from the Nike outlet and where we were up to the centre of the town and we're going to go get some lunch at Bella Italia. And yeah, that's... We'll let you guys know what we get when we get there. <laughs> So we have just been to Primark and we've got quite a lot of things each which we'll show you guys in a little bit and you saw what we had for lunch, it was really nice. But now we're going to walk back to where we started, back near the Nike outlet and go to a couple more shops around there, maybe get a drink and then we'll head home. <laughs> back in my house as you can see in my room and now we're going to film the haul for you guys so I'm going to go ahead and get straight into this. Yeah. So the first thing I bought was from Primark and they were these, oh my goodness, they were these vintage mum jeans, they are high waisted, they were in a size 8, they were £15, they're just like white. And also it was really good because the restrictions are lifted today so we actually got to try stuff on. Yes. Which we haven't been able to do for so long. I have this huge Primark bag. Now this was actually Ellie's. She bought, <laughs> it literally blocks the screen. This was Ellie's because she bought a shelf but then decided she didn't <laughs> want it so we had to return it. But it came in this massive bag which I ended up putting all my stuff in in the end. Because you had so many easy. little bags yeah. that we put all of your stuff in the big bag and I took a little bag. Yeah. So the first thing I got from Primark was this fro. So it is a small fro but I think it should fit my bed. It says super soft and it does feel really nice. It was £4, which is really good. It's kind of this nude beige colour and I'm sort of changing some things in my room at the moment and Ellie's as well. We're going to put it in a video, but this is going to go nicely with this colour scheme I want in my room. And the next couple bits I bought from Primark were these two items. They're both candles. They're both like hexagonal. This one is sandalwood and this one is Madagascan vanilla but this one's just like black and gold and then this one's like brown and gold 
and I love Primark candles but I don't really ever burn candles but they do look so nice that I wanted yeah. some more and these definitely will look nice in my room. Next thing I bought from Primark is something we both actually bought and it is this eucalyptus and mint diffuser. So this is what it looks like and I really like it because it's got mini bits of, I think it's pampas grass inside it and then I like the wooden detailing on the top, the sticks. Now this says four euros but it was actually three pounds fifty. I'm not sure why it was in euros but I really like this and we both got the same one and I think it will look really nice in both our rooms. It smells really good too. Yeah. So the last thing I bought from Primark was this Buddha. Mm -hmm. um, it was four pounds. If I just take the tag off of it, you guys can kind of see what it looks like. It's it looks really gold on camera. It's not yeah, as gold. It's, not, it's more it's like, like silvery, silvery brown beige, beige, beige kind of yeah. I'm thinking maybe if I no, Might it still looks like, kind of gold. Got a lot of like detailing in and stuff. Yeah, you yeah, kind of see it. it. Next thing I got from Primark was this. Now I'm not really sure what it is as such. I just like the look of it. It was three pounds. I think it's a candle I think holder. It's a candle holder. I don't know because it's, it's got this glass bit, so I'm guessing you put a tea light in it. Maybe, maybe you put a tea light in it. I just like the kind of black framework of it, and I think that would look nice on a windowsill somewhere. It's also got this bit at the top. But I don't think you put anything in it. I think it's just an extra kind of detail. Oh, I don't think this is part of it. Does that go on the top? Oh, I think it does. I was confused because I was just moving the candle. And actually, I think you can take this out. So it's just the framework, which is actually quite good because this bit, I like the frame more than the actual glass bit. But then what are you going to do with it? Just have a metal frame. Next thing I actually bought was from the Nike outlet. And these are very bright coloured, but I'm in love with these yeah, shoes. Really nice. And they're like grey, white at the bottom, and then they've got this big blue bit. It's more orange and purple details, purple on the laces, orange ticks. Yes, they're pretty funky coloured, but I love these so much. I cannot wait to wear them out. Mm -hmm. I love funky coloured trainers. Yeah. I feel like they just go with everything, even yeah. what, it doesn't matter what colour they are, they just go. So the benefit of the Nike outlet is they are kind of one-off pairs of shoes. Like you can't really go there if there's a specific pair you want. Yeah, they're kind of random what you can get. But there's normally something either a tiny bit wrong with them or they just stop selling them at Nike mm -hmm. or anything like that. And they take them all down to the outlet. They get really, really juiced so they're a lot cheaper yeah. and then you go and find some shoes in your size because they were like these 40? should have been 90 pounds they were cut down to 65 and then they were also in the sale at yeah. the outlet so that brought them down to about 40 which is which really it, good. yeah because so that's more than half price i'm a seven so i can't yeah. buy kids shoes and then my last thing from primark were these baskets now it says two pack water Hyacinth. Hyacinth baskets and these were £10. They look like this and I really like the style of them. I just have no idea where I'm going to put them in my room but there's a bigger one and a small one and I think they look really nice. They're a bit different but I kind of want to have this sort of style in my room so I'm really excited to so I'm really excited to put these in my room and see what they look like. I think they'll be really good as well for storage. The next thing I bought was actually from Poundland. There was a massive Poundland where we went. Mm -hmm. So I just got this like little A5 kind of sketchbook, I guess. Notebook, yeah. And it's got 30 pages. I'm going to use it as a scrapbook just because I wanted like a little scrapbook to do over the summer. Yeah, be really nice for memories and photos. Obviously that was a pound. Yeah. And then the next thing I got was also from the Nike outlet and it was these trainers. Now, I wanted some trainers for a while just to kind of do exercise in at the gym, at dance, that kind of thing. And they're just these, sorry, they're these black ones. They, they're fairly basic. I did look at a few different pairs, but they've got the kind of whitey cream colour tick and they're just kind of standard Nike trainers. These were cut down from... 55 to 40 pounds which i think is pretty good and they're in a size five and a half and i really like them the last couple bits i bought were actually from a shop called hobbycraft now i bought i've already opened these because we were messing around on the train yeah. with these but they're like little sticky uh scrabble letters yeah. 
And then I thought these were numbers. Turns out they're like little symbols and like plus signs and stuff. Yeah. So I now don't have any number ones for my scrapbook, but it is what it is. Yeah. My mistake. They were right next to each other and I saw them. We looked around and I came back to them and then picked up the wrong ones. <laughs> they're nice to add detail though to a scrapbook. I want to do some like titles with them and use them in there. So the last thing I bought was another homeware thing. I got so many homeware stuff today. But it's this vase and I really like it. It it's, is really cute. Yeah, it's from Matalan. It was £8 and it just says it's a black circular vase. Looks like this. It's kind of like a matte. It looks shiny on camera, but it is matte. It in is real a matte coloured vase. And I've seen loads of these in people's rooms and they look really nice. I might get some pampas grass or something to go in it or just yeah. put it as an accessory. But I just thought it would look really nice in my room. It kind of goes with the style of everything else that I've bought. So really excited to try this out and if you guys want to see a video where we kind of redecorate our rooms go to ikea add things in i mean i think we'll do it anyway but let us know down in the comments if you want to see something like that because it's definitely something we want to film over the summer so that is going to be it for this video we really hope you guys did enjoy and if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave us a comment down below and subscribe if you are new and want to see more videos like this in the future also, if you don't already, please go check out all of our Instagram accounts. Mine is at Ellie Hudson underscore underscore X. Mine is Lucy underscore Isabel underscore X. And our join is Lucy and Ellie underscore. And we also posted a few behind the scenes things from today. So make sure to go check those out and give them a follow. And hopefully we will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.